So ideally what I would like to have at Tech is a laboratory where we have some Xbox 360s that has a power PC architecture with three separate similar cores, a set of PlayStation 3s that have the unique cell processor, and then be able to, on the class we're running in the fall, have students basically do a kind of a mental shootout. Uh, did Microsoft do it right or did Sony do it right? What are the architectural issues involved? Get some experience with writing code to deal with multiple processors, multiple cores on one chip, uh, deal with also things like the very strange asymmetric structure of the cell processor. Also in the class talk about when do you want to run on a multi-core architecture versus when do you want to run your code on the graphical processing unit, the GPU. Look at issues of taking these kinds of technologies that are very cheap because they're manufactured at such a large scale and then use those in scientific computing applications that would normally cost hundreds of thousand dollars to be able to do. So if we could get a set of both systems, that would allow our students to get experience with programming with both ways of thinking. Unfortunately, the PlayStation 3, while you can install Linux on it, and there are a lot of people doing scientific computing with PlayStation 3s, Sony so far has not given people access to the graphics hardware. I think Microsoft got it right there because with XNA, not only do you have access to the graphics hardware, but you have access to all the hardware threading architecture within the actual Xbox 360 processor. So Microsoft's really opened it up compared to Sony. The which one got it right is more of a, it's a Socratic thought question. I, I'm not posing that there's a right answer. Okay. It, it's the, the idea of, in, the Xbox 360 might be better at certain things versus the cell processor. And the broader question, imagine the class five years from now when we have PlayStation 4 and Xbox 720 is, when do you want to go for a symmetric cell of architecture like in the Xbox 360? Or when do you want to go to a strange asymmetric architecture like in the cell processor? And really wrestle with those architectural issues. So one thing we would like to do with this class on high performance architectures for video gaming and affordable scientific computation that we're going to be running at Georgia Tech in the fall with two of my colleagues. One thing we want to do is look at when do you want to run things on something like the cell and when do you want to instead try to run shader code on a graphical processing unit. Right, right. The problem with this PlayStation 3, although you can install Linux on it, yellow, you can put on Yellow Dog Linux with Terrasoft, mm -hmm. from Terrasoft, and you have full access to the cell. So with the PlayStation 3, you can really give the cell program, explore their architecture. But if you want to explore the trade-offs between when to run things on the cell and when to run things on the GPU, you can't do that.